Hi everybody, welcome to Trees' World. Big decision um, today is, do I go and buy a chainsaw? Because the fact is, half of the pagoda is in my wood store, there, okay? But, <laughs> I still have a pile there. And, um, you know, I can't get into pond mode whilst I'm living with a big pile of wood there and I just want to get rid of it. I just think, how difficult is it to use a chainsaw? So, I am going today to buy a Titan chainsaw and I'm going to do this myself. <laughs> I have to admit that I do feel a bit apprehensive <laughs> about buying a chainsaw. Will I be able to use it? Oh, come on, it's not rocket science, is it? I think um, I'm going to try it out, just see how heavy it is. That's the main thing, isn't it? Um, also, look, I've got cream for these now. I've been to the doctors, because it's really getting me down. <laughs> I know, too much information. But heck, they're just getting worse, and I'm really self-conscious. Anyway, let's have a look at this chainsaw. Okay, I'm back home, and I am genuinely feeling frightened about this. <laughs> I'm frightened of this chainsaw, that's what it is. I think, oh God, but you know, you rarely see women doing this kind of thing. But um, I'm gonna unpack it and um, you can see, I'll show you what I've bought, okay? What I've bought is it's um, an electric, it's an electric chainsaw. Um, there we go, it's called a Titan and it's quite lightweight and it is the most, I felt the most kind of feminine one. And it cost me 49.99. Um, I've also got some goggles, you know, for safety. And, and there's, you need, cha you need chainsaw oil, which I don't supply. So always, if you're gonna buy a chainsaw, <laughs> yeah, you buy one every day. Um, yeah, don't forget your chainsaw oil. So um, I've got to kind of put it together. So I'll have a look at it. Um, another thing, I suddenly thought, well, I need to put this wood on something so I can cut it properly. So I bought a stand. Here we go, look, I've got to put this together. Oh, there we go. Here it is. What is it? Um, oh, God. See it? It's an Oregon stand. It's just just a metal thing. I'll put it together. That costs 20 quid. But I've got a feeling it'll make my life a bit easier because I can, you know, put the wood in it and then cut through. <laughs> they say you've got to do something that scares you um, once in a while. I don't know why it's scaring me. I think it's because it's that big blade and I think, oh my God, you know, I could chop my leg off. <laughs> it's not a no laughing matter. Okay, I've just opened the box for the stand because I'll put the stand up first and, oh God. <sighs> oh. So I better get started on this then, hadn't I? I might be here for a couple of hours. <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> I hope it's straightforward. I can see the poles are numbered. Four, five, six. Oh God. Okay. Um. Um. Well, I better get on with it. <laughs> so many bits. Oh God, I got to put it together like that till it looks like that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's my stand I've put up. There we go. See what I mean? I can now put the wood in here and slice through it. Theoretically. Um, took me about 40 minutes to put up actually um, because what I did wrong was I put one of these around the wrong way so it's not really clear on the directions as to how that see this here which how this sits or you know that I, I just had one end um, the wrong way around <laughs> but I got there in the end and um, it's all made and um, for 20 quid it'll do the job Okay, I think I'm ready to use my chainsaw, um, but I am going to get changed because there's these things dangling about, which I know um, that's not safe. Um, also, I need to tie my hair back, um, and I've got my goggles, um, and I've got gloves to put on as well. So um, I've got to do some health and safety things, and you know, just to prepare. Um, I feel really frightened of using this. <laughs> I wonder why I do this. Why didn't I just get, you know, the person who chopped half it down to come back and chop the rest down and borrow me dad's chainsaw. But the fact is, I just get fed up of relying on other people and I just want to do it myself. 
and by the time I've paid someone else to do it I could have bought a chainsaw so um, sometimes I think it's through frustration that I that I aim to try and be independent and just get on with it myself um, I'm sure women out there can understand that um, you know when you're if you're living on your own and that um, I think men, in many ways, cope better than women do because they can do all the DIY. Why? You know, they can use a drill, they can put shelves up, they can do all that kind of stuff. When, to be honest, me personally, I know there's women out there who do it, I do struggle with using drills or using anything heavy or like using this chainsaw just to chop up a bit of wood. I mean, the task itself is a simple task, isn't it, really? <sighs> so... Here goes. Um, I, like I said, I'm feeling anxious. But I'm going to put a different top on, tie my hair back, put my goggles on, and um, see how I get on. Okay, I've read all the directions and instructions and all the health and safety bits. So I've got my um, uh, goggles on to protect my eyes. Um, I've got gloves here. Um, I know I need to hold it with two hands, be firm and everything. Um, I've got my hair tied back. I've got a top on with no dangly bits. Um, so I think I'm ready to use this chainsaw. <laughs> oh God, I'm frightened. <laughs> Um, what can I say? All right, um, well, let's see how it goes. Um, I am frightened of a thing called kickback, but um, as long as I keep it to the side of me, I don't want it to kick back up in front of me. I don't know what, you know, um, I, I don't know. They mentioned kickback, and I'm, and I'm frightened of that. Let's make this wider. Hold on, let's get this. Pull this wider so it's a bit more stable. There we go, hold on. Oh, this is a bit cheap and cheerful, this, but it was a good buy, really. Okay. Careful of the nails. 
sure that's secure, but otherwise it get on with doing these logs now that's for my wood burner <laughs> I cannot believe I'm actually using a chainsaw oh god um, I'm not telling all those ladies out there to go out and rush out and buy a chainsaw or go do chainsawing but all I'm saying is is that some things that scare us that you know we just leave it to the men because the men do it actually um, we can do it, we just need to read up about it, get the right kit to suit us, that's something we can manage, not, isn't really, really heavy, um, and just, you know, do a bit of um, homework. Um, I'm well chuffed with myself that I've um, sussed this out and now I can get rid of the pagoda and put it all in my wood store. And um, okay, it cost me 50 quid. But I've got a chainsaw at the end of the day. And even if I don't use it that often, then, you know, well, I will use it because I will, you know, if I've got it, I'll use it now. Oh, I'm, I'm wittering because I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to spend the afternoon doing this now. Trees as well. Bye-bye, um, everyone. Ooh. Anyway, I just want to end this video to say that I thought that um, the Titan chainsaw was a good bit of kit, especially for... Um, a woman to use because it was, wasn't heavy and um, yeah I was impressed for 49.99 wow um, also the blue stand that was really useful for 20 quid um, don't think I would have managed as well without it so um, there we go hope you've enjoyed this vlog um, if you want to give me a thumbs up wonderful if you want to um, share it like it or whatever well thumbs up is a like isn't it oh I don't know anyway um, hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah do subscribe if you want to um, I think I've got about 300 subscribers now which is nice I can't believe it really 